younger Silvera is also two inches taller, but the Brazilian will have a substantial four and a half inch reach advantage. For one final time tonight, here's Mike Kendall. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the LFA 106 main event of the evening and is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the LFA light heavyweight division. Brought to you tonight by Shells. Get your personal cloud computer at shells.com today. And now for all those watching around the world tonight on UFC Fight Pass. And for those here in Shawnee, Oklahoma, are you ready for? Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This grappler stands 5'11", weight and 200.4 pounds. He holds a professional record, six wins, one defeat, with two wins coming by way of knockout, three by way of submission. Representing Teixeira MMA in fighting out of Waterbury, Connecticut, by way of Porto Alegre, Brazil, Rafael Gaúcho. His opponent across the octagon, fighting out of the red corner, is a grappler standing six foot one, weighed in 202.2 pounds. He holds a professional record, four wins, zero defeats, with one win coming by way of knockout, three by way of submission. Representing American top team, and fighting out of Miami, Florida, Josh Silvera! Your referee in charge of the main event, Marcio La Selva. Because we're over the rules of it today. Obey my command all the time. Protect yourself all the time. I'm going to shake hands, do it now. On my command, come back swinging. Josh, you good? You good? Set to go for the LFA 106 main event. Light heavyweights, Josh Silvera representing Miami, Florida. Taking on Rafael Viana from Waterbury, Connecticut, originally from Brazil. We are underway. Silvera with the black trunks and red tape. And Viana, the white shorts and blue tape. And Silvera dumps Viana right away. Incredible timing on that double leg. Viana gets right up Ooh. just as he's supposed to. And that's almost the hardest thing is getting taken down right again as you got up. Um, so good job of... Um, by Silvera staying attached, and now he's going for that rear naked oh, choke. Yes, he is. Both hooks in. Oh, Looks across the chin, but it's sinking tight. under. It's Vienna sinking under. Trouble. Hanging on barely somehow. There's a tap. Over and out. Josh Silvera, a first round submission win. What a performance from the 28 year old Josh Silvera. And that is why we're calling him one of the most exciting prospects in all of MMA. And to go out there. Dad, to give him a hug. He goes from dad to coach, and now he's back as dad. What an emotional, cool scene this is. Yes, yeah, such a beautiful thing. And just throughout the week, listen to him. You can feel his care for his son, you know, in his career and wanting the best. I mean, of course you want that for your son, but, you know, that's a different dynamic, being his coach also. And, um, right. you know, that's how Conan, I feel, cares about every, um, every, every student he trains, you know. He, all, he treats them all like a son. This just happens to be his son, and it's a beautiful thing to watch. A beautiful performance from Josh Silvera. Quick work getting the victory. And let's get the official time from Mike Kendall. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Marcio La Selva, calls a stop in just 41 seconds of the very first round, declaring your winner by tap out in a rear naked choke, Josh Silvera! Josh Silvera remains unbeaten and improves to 5-0, 4-0 in the LFA. It's official. The Silvera hype train has left the station. Josh getting a kiss from his dad, the MMA pioneer Marcus Conan de Silvera. 
representing American Top Team, and I think there's a party going down in Miami, Florida tonight, Joseph. Oh, of course. And, you know, he's going to get some additional attention.